In this gray log feature video, I wanted to go over the audit log. The audit log was introduced in gray log 3.0 as part of the enterprise feature set, and it gives you a way to track what's happened from administrative functions on your server. If you go to the enterprise menu item and click on audit log, you can see the overview of what's happened. In this case here up top, the user Nick has created different dashboards, different widgets. You'll also see things in the node themselves around rotating the indexes and archiving those log data off. Now this function can be done in two different ways. You can see over here the configuration side. There are two sides of that. One is a MongoDB, which is by default. Graylog will take any administrative action and archive that off. And the other side of that is if you want to use logs for J. You can configure that as well, and then input that into a flat text file. Configuration of those can be found up here in this documentation tab. And a couple things just to note inside of those. If you're doing the MongoDB side, you'll see that there's different parameters you can have as far as how long do you want to retain those logs. By default, it's going to be a one year, and we're going to do cleanup every hour. So we're going to purge off the old logs. And then as well, you can give it a tag for that, which in this case, just underscore or auto underscore log. Now the logs for J side of that, too, you would have to edit your logs for j2.xml file, give it a logger name and a marker name, and then you would configure that to do the appending of which log file to have it. All that is documented though in our document section, which you can find out on the gray log docs side. Once you're back in here, inside the configuration, you can see quickly what side's enabled Again, by default, MongoDB is enabled. If logs for j was enabled, um, you'd see the status here enabled. One other note to say is that logs for j, if you do configure that on one node, all nodes have to have that same configuration applied to them. Hopefully that explains a little bit about the audit log function, how to configure it, where to find that data at, and happy logging.